A vampire has snuck into a room while you were sleeping. The only question is, are you next on her menu? That is a very short sci-fi visual novel made in under 36 hours for the Velox for Mido Game Jam, a jam for short-form visual novels, surviving trapped with a lovely little vampire. Or don't. Hello and welcome! Link's here and we are going to see it to Dahlia from Crystal Game Works. A name that I'm actually sort of familiar with. We have not played a single game of theirs for, which is surprising maybe, given how many games we've played, but yeah. I do recognize Alice in Stardom from them. I do believe it's on Steam. Uh, and that's about it. Maybe that's why I'm kind of familiar with the name of the dev. But yeah, Dahlia it is, found on niche.io, link in the description as well, you can get it for free! Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Let's get to it. That's, by the way, that vampire girl. Plenty cute. Let's go and try to survive. This is a Yuri game, by the way. I've always wondered what eternity must feel like. Would it go by in the blink of an eye? Like a drop in the bucket of an infinitely expanding pool where the waves never crest on the shore? Or would it be that feeling of waiting for a lesson to end? Where the teacher drones on and on for hours? A never ending slew, of course, matter dripping from their lips. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I wonder myself. I feel like if you can't find anything to do sort of thing, it would be basically the second option. However, if you are capable of finding yourself hobbies and so on, especially hobbies that can last a long time, it would be the first one. Who knows? Maybe it's a mix of both. We can always wonder, right? But we'll never find an answer. Unless there is an afterlife. Where the reprieve of a sunny day and the mild breeze is just out of reach beyond the window sill. Only a few more minutes away forever while you wailed inside. I don't know what the real eternity feels like, but I know I'm in a pocket of it right now. Ooh. How do you manage with those guards? They are so brash and annoying. Are you Camellia? I think she's Camellia, right? They tend to like people more when they don't suck people's blood. No, we are Camellia. Or are we not? Hoo -hoo -hoo! I reckon even some pigs can hate. Starlight clings to the lace on her dress as the girl prances away from the window. Cutie one. Kinda... Kinda funny. But, you know... Supposedly... Mm, like, crosses and so on are... Sort of good weapon with a vampire, right? Seems like this vampire is resistant to them. <laughs> Obviously, she's not being attacked or anything, so yeah, but... To be fair, you never know. To be fair, even humans, if, you know, hit in the heart with a cross or with a wooden stick, would cease to exist, right? <laughs> so, so yeah. Maybe we all are vampires. We just don't know that yet. Starlight clings to lace on her dress as the girl prances away from the window. Each step is graceful on the hardwood floor, not even making a light creak. With her dark, tied-up hair and flowing dress, she looks more akin to a ball-jointed doll dancing. But the minimal lightning betrays her, bouncing off of the trace of blood on her lace collar. 
I think I lost a word while I was reading that line. Rather than risk the chance of being seen in the window any longer, she plops down a chair in my reading nook. My favorite chair! Come, sit with me. Why? <laughs> oh. Oh, there was a nice sound when the first time I clicked. Damn. Alright. There is something better for me to do. I'm surely not falling back asleep with her here. Alright. I... Camellia is a cutie one as well. I climb out of bed for the first time since she broke in. Oh, it's your house. Damn. Despite willing leaving the safety of my sheets, I still tread carefully. The girl pats on the pillows beside the chair and turns her attention to my bookcase. Ah, oh, there is so many books here. Can you read? If there were a book in my hand, it would be flying towards her head at this moment. Of course I can. What do you take me for a child? Yes? I look her over again. She looks to be my age, but most girls my age don't have splatters of blood on them. And you aren't? Age is meaningless to me. I stopped counting my age when I stopped being human. How long ago was that? Counting years is such a dull human trait. It's been a couple of full moons since I stopped. Such boring things. Do we have a vampire Chinubio here? <laughs> hmm. Are they for decoration? Should you could decorate with something more lively like plants or stuffed animals or art? I mean, there is a painting right behind you. But of course not. Are you sure you're not the illiterate one? <laughs> Yes, let's offend the vampire. Of course not. Of course they are not decorations, they are my books. All of them? Yes, it's my room. My room that you so rudely intruded on. Oh, this big thing. She motions her hand around my room, which is clearly one area, not partitioned off by anything else. Yes, it's all my bedroom, yes. I'd like to think it's a fairly typical one. Not from what I've seen. Other houses don't have bookcases? I have one. It's not very... You know... Humongous for sadly enough. They don't have books this well loved. Oh, my books are loved. They are all manga for. Her eyes gloss over the books and back to the entrance to my room. A lone alabaster doorway separates us from the hallway. Its ornate doorknob rests in the locked position. Not that it helps when intruders come in through the window. Why did you come here? Your guards were chasing me. They're not my guards! Oh, did they kidnap you? No! The, the... They are fathers! Your father or someone else's? My... my father! Oh... Tell your father he has poor judgment in stuff. I'll let you file your complaint yourself! I've had enough pitchforks stuck in my face for today. And why is that? Because your kind isn't welcoming to my kind. I was asking why you were being here in the first place. Oh, obvious questions got obvious responses. I needed a snack, of course. And you chose my residence? Didn't you say this was your father's? Kikikikiki. Her words carry around the last word, like ivy growing against the trellis. She's clearly already had a snack, but was it enough to satisfy her? Or am I the main course? 
The girl springs up to her feet. Her sudden movement sends a jolt down my spine, but she doesn't notice. Instead, she saunters to my wardrobe. Oh, oh, look at this! So many nice gowns! She picks one of the hanga, taking it into her arms as you would a dance partner. Her fingers clasp the sleeve cuffs and her legs do the thinking. Say, have you ever been to a party? Only several! What a braggart! I've only been to a handful! The skirt tails of the gown intermingle with her own as she twirls about. Lace on lace, the two become indistinguishable in the darkness. Ah, but aren't they so fun? Dancing the night away, stuffing your faces with delicacies. The sweets are good. Is food all you think about? I'm not a good dancer. Yeah, the sweets are good. Let's go. Um, the sweets are rather tasty at any good party. Aren't they? You can always tell how an evening is going to go by, by the quality of their dishes. You know what? You're not wrong. You said I could be into more than you let on. Didn't I tell you? The best things in life happen at night. Yeah! But also, sometimes the worst things happen at night, so... You know, I guess it depends what part of the certain cities you are of in. Right, anyway. With a grand flourish, my evening gong flies into the air and as she circles back towards my window. She does a low curtsy before tossing the gong across a chair. Everything, everything good in this world happens at night time. Her words are said with a quiet intensity. Late night parties, dinner time, no crowds on the road. Oh, I like that. To be quite honest, I also like driving at night. It's sort of relaxing to me. Anyway, secret meetings behind harsh doors. She raises her hand, placing it against the glass of the window pane. The moon and the stars come out to play. They've witnessed everything, you know. Everything that's happened in this world. Every lie set, every empire destroyed, every person created. Imagine all of that. Think everything they laid out before you. They must be rather smart or lonely. Mm. I'm gonna go say lonely. They must be rather lonely then, seeing all of death and being unable to change anything. They get her. I suppose so. The stars are really pretty either way, I like to watch them as I fall asleep. So that's why your curtains were in drawn on the balcony. I, 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 I wasn't expecting combat to drive through that door. She flashed me into the green. Her canines are stained red. Don't you know that pulled curtains are an open invitation? Balconies are most people's first entry choice. Or a choice at all. And most people are boring. What a terrible way to live a life. So you prefer you were your way? Of course I do. What's the point in living if you aren't living a li life you love? Let's ask that question to most of the humanity. Sadly. Sadly. Because it's our only life. Because some people don't have a choice. Yeah. Pretty much because of that second thing. It's true. What's the point in living if you aren't living a life you love? Because it's our only life. Uh, honestly, I think this doesn't work with this question. I'm gonna go negative. Kind of. Because some people don't have a choice. They can't change things. Oh, what wise words from a rich girl. Look at the size of this estate. Have you ever seen every crevice of it? The moonlight creeps across her face, flashing against the lace in her dress. What do you know about not having a choice in this world? I didn't have a choice with my body. What do you mean? My heart toots with my chest, punging back and forth as the words leave me. 
Oh, do tell my lady. Her words drip out. I crush the ends of my dress. In before she's like... Living with some kind of sickness? I'm not sure. But it does sound like that. My body has always been weaker than others. I became be, uh, become exhausted doing things so that I find others find simple. Ranik is a good way to make myself bedridden for the haze. Oh. Even with the doctors my father has hired, none were able to help me. Most didn't see anything wrong with me. The most common prescription was fresh air. My room is my home. Oh, and tell me how do you like that? You can already guess the answer. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. But I don't know the answer to one more question. What would you do if you could live here? Live here? I'd love it as long as it isn't me living in a casket. Ooh, I've always wanted a dancing partner. What do you say? You haven't even told me your name yet and you're asking me these questions. Dahlia. That's my name. Oh, it's just like in the title of the game, that's true. Well, Dahlia. Is it painless? Is there anything in life that's painless? <laughs> right. Don't worry, I'll make it extra sweet. I open my mouth. But the only thing that escapes me is a single orgasm. <gasps> As her funk sink into my neck. <clears throat> all, all of the blood rushes to my head, turning my face flush. It doesn't hurt, I can only groan. One more small groan leaves my lips. As darkness takes a hold of me. When I come to... I'm in an unfamiliar place, surrounded by warmth. The air doesn't feel as oppressive anymore. It's like I'm able to breathe oxygen for the first time. Even my gun feels like it's not constricting me. I exhale a long, wall overdue breath. <gasps> you must be hungry. You've slept for days. Don't worry, no, just a place for a snack. And so they went and sucked the blood out of other humans. <laughs> Fun game! I like that. It was a short journey, but it was definitely interesting. And it asked quite interesting questions, yes. Like, you know, the one with eternity and living the eternity sort of thing. Which I sort of answered as well. Uh, I like the music in the background as well. It's really nice. It's going on a repeat, of course, but... Uh, I'm digging this. I mean, for a... Um, project that is made in under 36 hours, super solid. Super solid, really. Uh, great job on that. Crystal Game Works. I need to have a look at the, the other games of yours. Because, as I mentioned, I do remember one of them from Steam. The other ones I do not recognize. I see. I think there is a lot of BL or whatever. So, that's something I'll not be interested in, but... Yuri, let's go. Yuri, let's fucking go. Wow, that jump didn't have a lot of submissions, by the way. Only 16. You guys should go and check the jam as well, by the way. Anywho, Dahlia link in the description. Supposedly there are three endings, so... The game is free. Go and get the other two endings on your own. I'll... Pr I'll probably check out the other endings myself. Uh, as well. I know, while... One of the videos is being rendered or something like that. Um... And that would be it for today. By the way, also, uh, super cute girls. Very cute girls, not gonna lie. 
both girls absolutely looked amazing. Also, I sort of liked how during the dialogue they kind of were both on the screen and they switched places. Basically, one of them became kind of a shadow sort of thing. I really like that. Great idea. I wonder if in... If in games that are basic, they put basically more time into, they do a similar thing. If so, then wonderful. If they did do that in the past, that would kind of explain maybe why, you know, Crystal Gameworks was able to pull something like that as well in a short project. You know, they know how to do that, they'll be able to do that. That sort of thing. Uh, right, I will shut up for now, and by that I mean it's time to end the video. Mm, if you enjoyed, you know, as per usual, consider liking, consider subscribing if you're around, always super appreciated. And, you know, if you stay around, expect more games to be coming your way, because we are not stopping, that's for sure. Of course, also, have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.